What up, big time gang? Welcome back to another time big time video. Bostock Europe. I featured these on the channel before. Big shout out to my buddies at R2A Watches. This is the first one I own. Um, super excited about it. Um, I found one on a bracelet. And most, I'd say like 80% of their watches come on straps. Now, silicone straps I'm getting way more and more comfortable with. But I'm still a bracelet fan regardless. Bracelets are, are what I think make a watch balanced out on the wrist. And so for me to buy a Vostok Europe, I wanted my first one to be on a bracelet. And I found one. So super excited about that. After the intro, we'll get into the watch. So the box, had to show you the box. Vostok Europe on the top, just a cardboard box, nothing too fancy. With a pillow, you've got the little booklet. That is all. The watch, I've already sized, so it's not in the box. Here is the watch. I have not removed the crystal cover or any of the protective plastics. Because I wanted you to experience the unwrapping with me. So let's do the honors. And take off that crystal cover. There it is. What do you guys think of the colorway I chose? This is the Vostok Europe N1 Rocket. With the power reserve. So obviously right now it's dead. I have not wound it. I have not worn it. But I did size it the other day. Because I wanted to... Uh, get it to fit my wrist and I was so surprised I have an eight inch wrist um most brands I take out one or two links some brands barely fit where I don't take out any links I removed four links from this bracelet I was so surprised so they make this thing big enough for like a 10 inch wrist or maybe 10 and a half so if you've got a large wrist and you want a large watch Vostok Europe, hit up R2A Watches. I do have a discount code. All one word, Tommy Big Time. Gives you 15% off at R2A. So if you want one of these bad boys, definitely go over there, put that code in. I believe this watch sells for like 409, I think. Um, and it is an automatic. This has the NE57 Seiko movement inside of it. And so you've got the power reserve, and you've got a calendar down to 6 o'clock. Now, you know, blue is my color, and I had to go blue. This one is just gorgeous, in my opinion. Fixed bezel, does not rotate. The very good-looking watch. So this is model NE57 backslash 225A562B. And this is the first Vostok Europe model to feature a Seiko NE5729 dual automatic movement. So that's cool. I didn't buy it for that reason, but very cool. This does have a K1 crystal. They call it Gorilla Glass. Does not have a Sapphire crystal, but it should be pretty good at taking a beating. Um, it says 120 click unidirectional bezel. That definitely does not spin. So I don't know where I got that from, but the bezel does not rotate for sure. Yeah, this has some non-rotating fixed bezel. Seven link bracelet, which is just gorgeous, but it does have a butterfly clasp, which means you have zero micro adjust and zero half links. So getting it to fit just right might be an issue. Um... I consider this like a sport diver. It does have a screw down crown. Uh, it is water resistant to 660 feet. Let's get this blue plastic off of the case so I can give you a good view of the case side. This is like really stuck on there. There we go. 
And it's a high polished case side, which I was not aware of. But I like that the lugs are brushed on top, going into the brush bracelet. So good contrast there. I'm going to have to wash this watch off because it's got a whole bunch of leftover goo from the blue plastic. Okay. So now I got it all cleaned off. So 46 millimeter case. Then we've got 17 millimeters thick, including the domed K1 crystal and the exhibition case back. 22 millimeter lug width. And we do have female end links, but we're going to get the measurement for lug to lug right now together. And lug to lug, we're looking at 55 millimeter lug to lug. So big watch. Definitely a big watch. But I had to have a Vostok Europe in the collection. And of course, I went to my buddies at R2A for this watch. And there it is on my wrist. It does fit well. I do have an eight inch wrist. I think it looks perfect. And I love the colorway, like the bracelet. Now, I prefer the traditional clasp just because of the micro adjust, but this works out. It's a little loose, but it works. I don't want to go any tighter and have it too snug. We are starting to warm up and the, my wrist is definitely going to get um, expanded in the heat. And I do not want it to fit so tight that it's unbearable to wear. So I'd rather have it a little loose now. So let's wind it up and let's check out that power reserve function. So here we go. Unscrew the crown. We do have super luminova on the dial as well. Or the indices, not the dial itself, indices and hands. You can see that power reserve up here, that needle moving as I wind it. Get it to that 24 hours. Let's see how we set the date. There we go. Very nice. The date will done at the six o'clock. I am right now spinning the hands. nice and I didn't wind the power reserve all the way up so when I screwed in the crown I didn't overwind the watch there it is ticking away let me know what you guys think of this watch I think it is gorgeous do have an exhibition case back shows that Rotor with the 29 Joule NE57. N1 rocket, all stainless steel. The world's biggest rocket, water resistant 20 atmospheres. Very cool. So yeah, my first Vostok Europe in my collection. And I guarantee you it's not going to be the last. I don't know if you remember the uh, watch I featured probably about six months to a year ago, but it had an orange uh, band. I love that watch and I think I have to buy it. I have to own it. Stay tuned for some photos. And remember, if you want a Vostok Europe or some other brand, Seiko as well, there's a lot of brands on the R2A site. Go over there, put in Tummy Big Time for the discount code and get 15% off your purchase. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for photos. Smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next video. God bless.